Hey everyone, just to let you know, before the actual video starts, that Paradox is having another massive holiday sale. So, if you want to go and check out the store, there'll be a link in the description. You can pretty much get massive discounts on anything and everything. So you can get 50% off Waking the Tiger if you don't have it already. 50% off Apocalypse. There's 75% off the base game of Stellaris. 60% off the base game of Hearts of Iron 4, if for some reason, you, again, you don't have it. Yeah, essentially there's massive sale going on in Paradox, so if you want to treat yourself to some DLC or any Paradox titles, just follow the link in the description. I get 5% of everything that you choose to purchase, so it's a great way of helping out the channel if you use the specific link. Uh, if for some reason you buy something that isn't on sale, there will also be a discount code in the description too for 10% off everything that isn't on sale in the store. Yeah, hopefully you support the channel and go grab yourself some decent DLC to, or, or base games, you know, whatever. Just check it out. Bye. What's up, Ram Fam Damily Diddlers? It's me, ya boy, Alex the Rambler, back once again on Hearts of Iron 4. That's right, we've got a classic what if scenario today where we're going to explore what if Germany had all of the colonies instead of Great Britain. So there isn't an empire, but well, there's a German empire, but it's the German... Ru well, you, you'll see. So, of course, leave a like for more Hearts of Iron 4. And, you know, leave a like for, for, for just, you know, if you're, feeling, if you're feeling nice, feeling generous, if you want to help out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. And comment, too. Now, in this scenario, I would usually play as the country that I've adapted, but a lot of people have been complaining that I've been playing as Germany too often, and a lot of people have also been complaining that my introductions are too long. So, I'm going to be playing as the United Kingdom and trying to... Uh, survive. So here we go. Uh, the, the, uh, the Germany essentially now has the Raj, Australia, uh, South Africa, Canada, all on their side from the off. So this puts me in a in a in a very weak position. I'm sure I'm sure you'd agree. I also no longer have access to the Suez. Oh no! Oh, is my navy trapped? No, I still have Gibraltar. It's Gibraltar. I've still left it in English hands because you know that seemed the only sane thing to do. Triggering all any any Spanish viewers I have there. <laughs> Don't hate me. So the only thing that really bothers me about this scenario is the fact that now we've got the weirdo in charge of Canada. Now if you haven't seen, I have just hit a quarter of a million subscribers over on the channel, which I'm currently recording a video for. Oh my god, I've completely messed this up, haven't I? So if you're not aware, we just hit 250,000 subscribers on the channel, which is for me, I think, an, an insane achievement. So thank you all for your support over the past, oh, what is it, five years now? Bloody Nora. And if you haven't seen the 250,000k special, then I encourage you all to check it out now, because it's a, it's a great one. Uh, now, because I've lost all of my colonies, I've lost a lot of factories too, so I only start off with 27 sieves. Ooh. Uh, yes, I've also lost Singapore. It's now German Malaya. Oh, dearie me. This is actually going to be quite tricky, I think. I'm not sure how it's going to change the game, unless the US joins the war. We're not going to see too much out of Canada. I'm essentially going to have to try and create like a fortress UK, I think. I don't know that we're going to be able to hold France. If we do manage to do that, I'd be very surprised. Because you're AI and you're dumb. Okay, well, the Germans as usual. For some reason in this scenario, I guess they still managed to lose World War I, despite holding all of this. Um, however, I'm in a very weak state. I'm not particularly a strong UK player. I tend to make a lot of mistakes. So, giving myself this little challenge where Germany controls everything is probably not the smartest move I've ever done. But you know what? It's all it's all it's all a load of it's all a load of fun, isn't it? Uh, I basically kept all my useless islands. Like, I mean, I mean, do I need British Somaliland or the Arden? Do, 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 do they have any kind of resource? No. Brilliant. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. <gasps> New Zealand. Where did the heck did I leave you? Where where are you? Oh, for pity's sake. I left them down here in Samoa. Whoops. Ah. Oh, yeah. I'll take the colonial elite. Not that we have any elite colonials. I do still have the Falklands, though. Right, with a motorised army, I have to ask, why on earth could I not have deployed motorised divisions before? I don't... Ah. Uh, 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 oh my god, yes. The Republicans have won. We have a shot. We have a shot. Uh-oh. Do I reject the Sudeten land? Um. Oh, I could, you know. I think I might. Mm, bring the Sudeten land into the Allies. 
And then, oh my god, look at his military factories already. And I have 20 against his 100. Do you know what? Oh. Oh. Czechoslovakia must be defended. Mm. Oh, France has joined the Allies. Oh. Oh, it's just going to be painful, isn't it? Mm. Oh. Oh. I think I have regrets already doing this. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, my war support's only 12. Uh, 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 Germany demands for the Sudeten border and Czech Republic, which is home to a considerable German minority, has intensified recently. It sounds like a World War II radio, doesn't it? But a uh, it's time to make a stand. Is Romania in the war? <sighs> yes. I think France needs my help. I shouldn't have done this, should I? I should not have done this. I, I don't have an army. I thought this would be a good idea, you know, stop the Germans before they get too strong, but... It's not gonna work, is it? I'm gonna get absolutely trapped. Wait, what? Czechoslovakia is pushing? Holy moly. How have they lost the Maginot? Oh my god. Oh my god. France, you absolute imbeciles. I don't understand how they can lose it. I am wondering where they got all their naval bombers from. Because that's devastating my fleet. Uh... Oh, jeez. Huh. How did that... happen? Goering's in charge? I'll be honest, I'm a little surprised at that, considering... Jeez. <laughs> this really is like a messed up world, isn't it? Where Goering's in charge of the German Reich in 1938, but there's also, you know, Canada and... South Africa? The f Was that Goering's brother? Oh, no. Oh, it looks like they're pushing back. Oh, the Germans abandoned the, the, the front. Oh, no, no, they didn't. I'm very confused by what's happening here. I'm okay with it, though. Oh, no. Uh, in a bit of a pickle, that it looks like we're about to lose the remainder of the Maginot. Uh, so I might actually have to create a fallback line behind this river and hope... I can hold there, just slowly and s slowly but surely falling back, which is a isn't really what you want. Oh, oh blimey! Uh, I forgot that I sent them to attack. Huh? New Zealand still holding. Look at that. Nice. But you can see that all of my allies have capitulated except for France and New Zealand. That's depressing, isn't it? Oh my God! How many divisions have they sent down here? Oh, I need to get more in the field. Oh, please help. This would be so much easier if I still held the Maginot. This very much does feel like a fight for my life. Well, France's life more than any, more than anyone else, and it's it's true. It is really. I need I need more men. The German Raj has zero divisions. What? They also have zero manpower. Have I? What has happened? Did I break them? I think I've broken them. Oh dear, Soz. No one's lend leasing me, but I think that's mainly because no one can lend lease me. That that makes more sense, Alex. You're you're just you're just spouting whatever words come into your mouth now, and not a lot comes into my mouth. Um, and not a lot comes into my mouth. Um, I, I I I'm honestly surprised I've managed to hold France. It's that's the only good thing that's happened in this ga game. Oh no. Uh, uh, panically deploy ten more divisions. All right, Belgium's joined. Okay, okay, okay. So with Belgium joining, that means we just need to hold this front. This is actually probably one of the most difficult games I've had in a in a while. This is actually brutal to try and hold against the entirety of the German army. Although they have taken 2.37 million, jeez Louise. Like, I technically have the navy to to try and uh, naval invade everywhere, but I can't really risk it, it's gross. So if you decide to do this scenario, and you get all the land, my advice would be to not refuse the Sotodetan land, although it seems like it's going okay. It's just a slog, I can't do anything, and the Raj is... I don't even know how they took that if they didn't have any divisions. It's kind of odd. Oh well. Oh, 
I've actually just noticed that Denmark is still alive somehow. That's weird. Uh, we need Winston. Good old Winston. He does not look happy about this situation. I wouldn't. I, I would say, look, Winston, I'm doing better than you. Okay. Uh oh. Is that the Orange Free State Command has sent up? Uh, what? What is the Orange Free State? I have not seen the Estonia Congress before as a faction. Ah, uh, my first tank division in 1941. It's a uh, 40 combat with, by the way. I know a lot of people always ask to see my templates. This is what it looks like. Noish. My tank can beat infantry. Right, well, to show you how kind of silly the AI can be, uh, you can see how many casualties I've taken against like the Germans and, and Italians. The amount of... <laughs> uh, just because they keep trying to force attack, and luckily I've got enough defense to, to hold them off now. Oh, the Soviets are at war with Japan. Japan. Wait, what? Why did Japan join the Estonia Congress? Oh, for pity's sake. This might be the first time in the game I actually get an encirclement. Oh my god. Oh, I think I just... No, didn't have an accident. You're fine, Alex. You're fine. This makes the game a lot harder. I've decided. <laughs> and the US doesn't join the war. It's like, what are you doing? Come on. Help me already. Ha! Take that. Canada seeks immediate patriation from Germany. At least, it, although the event is still for me, but whatever. Oh my god, they have 1,600 enemy bombers in the Eastern North Sea. Ah, uh, repair now, repair now, repair now. Jeez Louise. Hey, we might be able to get Amsterdam back. Noish. I'm not sure, but I think they moved a load of divisions off my border, so... Let's go for a general push, I think. I don't know what's... Oh, they've run out of manpower again. Whee! Yeah! Wait, the French tricolour can now be seen over the right... Oh, god damn. So it seems, despite them having all of these extra buffs, I've still managed to... Oh, look, the smiling Buddha. And I think that that is where I'll end today's video. Oh my god, that was such a... Oh, that was a long one. Uh, but yeah, Mussolini would fall, and after that, I think everyone else would capitulate. I don't think anyone else is a major. So, of course, if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. If you've got any other suggestions in mind, of course, feel free to suggest them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to check out the Paradox sale, where it helps out the channel every time you click that affiliate link and make a purchase. But it's too loo from me, for now, and it's too loo from Churchill. Bye bye Many thanks to Wyatt, Aiden, Andrew, Clinshaw, Jiggly Crotch, Brock Obama, I Am A Living Legend, Hunter of Griefers, Martin, Red, Logan, and Sam for being ridiculous round of supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!